Hi, in this video I'll show you how to identify name ranges on a worksheet. So if you're familiar with name ranges, you know that you can identify a range, select a, select a range of cells and give it a name. So for example, I called this months, I called this range from D5 to G5 quarters, and I called uh, this one Sunday, Monday, this range of cells from K7 to uh, K13, I called those days. Uh, or you can uh, call, let's go ahead and create another one. Let's go ahead and create the planets in the solar system. We have Mercury, and then we have Venus, then we have Earth, uh, next we have Mars, then we have Jupiter, and then Saturn, let's see Saturn, and then Uranus, or Uranus, and then Neptune, and maybe we want to include Pluto. Well, Pluto is not really classified as a planet anymore, but we've got uh, these celestial bodies as our planets, and we selected that. We can go under the name box here and just call it planets. And those are the planets in the solar system. Now, if we wanted to identify these name ranges, let's say we have a lot of these, and, and we want to know in our worksheet where are our name ranges. There's a couple ways to do that. Uh, one way is to go under the uh, formula tab and go into use and formula and then it can identify it here but if you want to know where they are specifically in the sheet you can go to paste names wherever you select it in the cell and go ahead and, and click paste list and it will identify them. Let me go ahead and double click that to widen it here. So these are the names of the ranges and these are the locations of them. Now that's one way we can do it. Uh, we can go under the, the tab here and and find it. Another way to do it is to reduce the view of the worksheet and right now we're at 130 percent you have to have it under 40 percent and you'll see the name ranges outlined in the cells so if I go under view and go under zoom and go ahead and custom zoom down to 39 percent let's not well, let's see if we can do 40 percent will that work that yeah, 40 percent didn't work so let's go to 39 percent so if we do 39 percent yeah now you'll notice that You'll notice that it's gotten a lot smaller, but right now you can see in this particular cell, days is outlined for this range of cells, so it's telling you that's that's the name range days. Here's the name range planets, name range months. Now you can't really see it too well in this single uh, row, but it says quarters. So that's another way that you can identify the name ranges in your particular worksheet. So you can either do the formulas and go into using formula, or actually you can also do type an F3, type the F3 key, it will bring up that same window and you can just type paste list and it'll give it to you. Or the second way you can do it is to reduce the view size, the zoom level down to 39% or less, basically lower than 40% and you could see it here. So that's a good way to identify name ranges that are on your worksheet. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.